Okay, this poison is painful. And I described it in writing what it does. But it's not as painful as some of the poisons they have used on me that make me cry out and think I am dying. They poison me every day. I'm going to go back to what I was trying to focus on in this fucking shithole city. That has a shithole terror cell that they refuse to let anyone go into, touch, or ever stop. This is some sort of fucking church and sanctuary to them. It's obvious. All their white people, all their Arab people come and stroll by like it's some sort of rites of passage to walk past it. Um... I had witnessed incredible violence yesterday since the night I had woken up in the night. I mean, it's around the clock incredible violence in here that a person, I'm not defending saying that I'm imagining it. Everyone knows I'm not imagining this, but I'm saying a person couldn't make this up. A person couldn't imagine this to to write a good story or to um, tell a good story. I mean, I absolutely in no way could dream this shit up that I have witnessed in here and once again yesterday that happened happened in almost every room I went into the bathroom it happened in the hallway I mean it's just all over in this house um incredible violence that you are witnessing if you are me it's happening when I'm in here, most definitely because I'm sitting and they're, they're up there engaged in so many crimes that it's a guarantee I'm going to witness it in the in that room over my room on floor three. Oh, wait. Right. And that is what I witnessed, okay? Incredible, loud, crashing, bashing, everything, name it, list it, that are violent stuff and things. I witnessed it. All fucking day, all fucking night. Happening in 1507 when I say my bathroom. Happening all over in 1507. I could point to certain spots, okay? I'm just done. I'm just done. I need to see the, the ball and the Murray arrested or killed. This absolutely has to stop. The poisoning all day long. The TVs, this kind of incredible violence going on in Alb Mob. And I witnessed that next door too. I witnessed tons of that going on crashing banging violence sounds this obvious combat taking place is so fucking clear in the house next door and the other house next door downstairs all fucking day all fucking night every fucking floor okay um i heard a female ag again in here who does not live here it, it, the combat was so bad, the bodies were piling up. These females would talk. I guess they were exasperated. I could clearly identify towards the night before I crawled to my knees on my bed um, for my safety to do that. The female and the male Ball and Murray had come back in, even through the fucking martini gas. So they have been clearly given, obviously given, some sort of military gas mask to along with the surveillance equipment and everything else that's been put in here. And they come in when there's no burst towards the end and they started just chopping up all these bodies. The bodies that were bursted were U.S. military and law enforcement. And that explains to me why I heard such incredible violence and right now there's swarms of gnats and flies from the dead body parts piled up in the house. They've got to be fucking both houses and this one. I don't smell incredible mass grave stench. There's got to be some. And, they, and I'm wondering where or how or what's going on with the corpses because a lot of the terrorists have probably been killed too. The gas last night was terrible it's a gas chamber in here and that martini gas gets you as high as a kite your eyes are literally crossing with every burst 
and you're just sitting there and after a while you just close your eyes and you wait for it to fucking stop and hours go by there's just lighting this place i i documented it from six i had to stop documenting it by the time i went to bed it kind of stopped but i didn't know i was asleep I think it did because I waited a good 15 minutes and the bursts were finally stopping and I started to sober up. And then at that point, I crawled to my bed. And at that point, when I was sitting in my chair, a terrorist had come in. It was the male, Murray. He had taken all the cat food again away from the door. They take the containers to use them for their bomb making. I put a tin a tin thing out. I can't speak. They didn't take that. This is one reason why it was good that I reported I saw him walking away with my containers. They take these containers and the good guys will explain this because this terrorist cell causes all these politicians to be killed. Okay. That's where we're at now, dude. Trump, Biden, Putin. But I mean, let's just stick with the U.S. There's senators in Congress that did nothing but protect a violent terrorist cell where I witnessed the cannibalism in here off the charts, where I witnessed human body parts chopped up. I witnessed it. She was carrying it around on a napkin. This, all they did was protect this type of violence, this type of cannibalism. That's all they did. That was their job. They were not public officials. Okay? The treason, the aiding and abetting, all these other charges It's, it's tragic. It's going to cause the swarms of bugs in the way I had to live. I can't take my garbage out to this fucking day. It is too fucking dangerous. The body parts stuffed everywhere. The bombs. You walk over the bombs in the hallway. You walk into my extra room. There's fucking bombs they stuffed in the wall. And it's so strong you can smell it from the wall. And I've described the turpentine chemical scent. I've described it so long. Everybody knows. And wasn't this like a year or longer? And who's still protected to do it every day? Is this shit ever going to end? And then no one wonders why I flipped fucking out. I want Ball, Murray, the ones in 1507. I want these ones that party in the yard. I want the ones in the album off driving around. I want them fucking killed or arrested. Take out your primary terrorists, take out their leaders, and take out the people who protect this kind of violence. They have a chemical weapons arsenal, like I was trying to say. They're gassing this place with nothing more than lethal fucking laughing gas. It is a fucking gas chamber here, and I can walk to the White House if I had the, the ability. It's too dangerous. I can walk within 15 minutes to the White House. There is a gas chamber. What does it take, dude? What does it take to fucking put an end to this in the United States? How far does the U.S. have to go? Is this not far enough? I, I'm appalled. And I, I, I was... You're so fucking high from this shit for hours and hours. You can't watch TV. You're just too high. There's too much violence going on upstairs in the room over me. Crashing, banging, just all this stuff. I can't describe it. I'm tired of doing it. Obvious fighting. People falling. People dropping. People rolling. Bodies hitting the ground, dude. I heard it all up there. All fucking night. And then these motherfucking Ball and Murray come back in, blast their TV at rock concert level. The TV was blasting, but then they started chopping them up. And it's so fucking obvious when they do it. And this is what I mean, because there was still this toxic gas all over in the air. It hadn't been bursting. And these motherfuckers crawled back in through holes in their fucking wall. All it takes is to go up there and you can look and see the holes in fucking a hot minute. But nobody's ever fucking searched this place. And they have fucking holes they carved in their walls. What does it fucking take? I hear the, the door to these hatch doors. It's like I've even filmed them. It's like a barnyard with a can't find a word. I can't remember English anymore. They just come and go, dude, from a hole in their wall. What does it take to come in here? 
um, they must have some sort of gas mask. And then this motherfucker was in my hallway, and so was the female. The female and the male did so many trips up and down with all the dead bodies, as they do with every dead body up and down, that I couldn't possibly count them all. Sneaking and sneaking and sneaking and sneaking like fucking schizophrenics. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, all day, all fucking night, dude. And I'm sitting in here not allowed to talk about it. I'm going to close with this. I, I, it's not even, com this, this 10 minutes of testimony to what happened just last night is not even doing what happened last night any justice to what I witnessed. I'm just going to stop and give myself a breather is what I'm doing. I'm going to say this, with the even possibility that I'm still being stalked and hunted by distant relatives in a terrorist cell, with even that possibility entertaining in my mind as I'm sitting here being lit up high as the sky by fucking uh, illegal lethal gas. I sat here high as the sky with my eyes closed because it's so, so intense. You just... Your eyes feel like they're crossing. I'm, I know I'm not passing out. I know I'm not dying, but they just won't stop bursting it. And I'm not fucking sober. I'm so far from fucking sober. And I'm furious at these people. Whoever's doing it, right? I know who I think I know. And then all I can think about are these distant cousins from the country. They all lived in the country. Like age 12 and age 16, I'm trying to go back to when I slightly talked to them. The fuck these people? Who are you, dude? I'm so furious at these fucking relatives that I don't fucking know. You know, it was better when they just treated me like they always did all my life. A reject and said fucking lies and talked trash about me. I preferred that. You didn't fucking ever talk to me or help me then. What the fuck? motherfucking bio relatives you've got it fucking coming all right i was just haunted last night with gas and death in here and motherfucking relatives i just said to god i said god i've had enough i've had enough of this lifelong i'm getting old now i need to live something else while i'm alive than these goddamn fucking relatives all I did was try to get away from these fucking people. Okay? I need to have something that I've worked so hard for happen in my life. I can't just sit in a fucking terror cell being gassed and gassed and gassed and gassed anymore. All right, bye.